Well, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video here. In this video, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, the theory that Stu was the one that killed Brandy. Now, I talked about this. I, I think I, I um, talked about this in my stream last night, uh, you know, about the possibility of uh, Randy getting killed off by Stu. Um, and the reason why I believe that is because, again, he was getting tossed around like a, you know, he was getting manhandled, you know. And I don't believe, again, I don't believe a girl is going to be able to manhandle another man. So I think that it's very possible that Stu was in, he was definitely in screen two, I believe. He was definitely, a, you know, he probably, he probably didn't, didn't just kill Randy. He probably attacked, you know, other, you know, characters as well, other uh, people as well. So I'm not saying that he just, you know, killed Randy. Like, he could have been in the film the whole time, you know? And we just, there's just a lot of, uh, there's just a lot of people that believe he was in Scream 2, which I believe that as well. I believe he was in Scream 2. I believe he was in Scream 3 as well. Um, but a lot of people were saying that because Miss Loomis said that she killed, she had killed him or whatever. And... I, and then I started to realize, and I was like, "How how was she? How did she? How was she able to manhandle him? First of all, and how was she able to throw him around like you know like that?" So I, I kind of went into I, I looked into it a little bit, and I a lot of people you know gave me a good uh, told me about you know the stew thing. And I was like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense because Stu is obviously, you know, pretty tall as well. Like he's he's about six foot four, I believe. So I think that's definitely a possibility that Stu was the one that actually killed Randy and not Miss Loomis. Because Miss Loomis was Miss Loomis was the one that she said that she killed him, right? But we can't, doesn't necessarily mean that she did. She was probably just saying that, but I don't believe that she killed him because, again, you know, the the way he was getting manhandled just doesn't make any sense. Like, why Like why she would be, you know, that I, I don't know. I, I just don't think it makes sense for that to be her to kill him, but that's just my opinion on that. Um, I know movies are unrealistic. Same with the whole Charlie uh, killing Olivia and all that. I know that's a, I mean, I understand it's a little, people say that he's a little guy, but then again, he's a, he's a man, you know, men are way stronger than girls, but this is like the opposite. Like people, you know, say that girls, how the hell was Miss Loomis able to throw him around like that, you know? And I don't see that either. I just don't. So I think it's a possibility. That, I definitely think it's a possibility that it was Stu. 100%. That's just my theory on that. Um, but that's just, a lot of people were also saying that, you know, because of the, you know, the way he was getting manhandled. So just kind of like, you know, what do we do? We get manhandled by, um, by uh, supposedly Amber, but I, again, I don't believe that because I don't think a man, I don't think a girl's gonna be able to manhandle a man like that. So, so the same case, it could be the same case could be made for you know the Randy death. You know, maybe it was a man and not a girl. Maybe it was a Miss Loomis the whole time. Maybe it was Stu. And I actually talked about that many times. A lot of other people, you know, pointed out to me that because obviously we know that uh, Matthew Lillard was actually in screen two. He was playing another character, but still. Um, I still believe it. I still believe he was also in screen four, you know. He was also, he, I think he was in screen two, three, and four, and five, and even six, you know. But he was most definitely in screen two. 
I think there's a lot of uh, evidence, you know, that points that he, you know, that says that he he was. Um, I mean, we all know that Steve's not dead. I, I believe he's not, anyways. So, I mean, it, it's just it sounds like the most realistic theory out there that he was the one that killed Randy because again, Randy was. But then again, a lot of people still believe well that he would he brung up you know Billy's uh, mom and all that or Billy, and then you know his mom got pissed. But I, that don't really make any. I mean, yeah. But then again, how was she able to manhandle him like that? You know, I don't understand. So I know it's just a movie. A lot of people, movies ain't realistic nowadays. Obviously, you know, movies ain't perfect. They're gonna have some. They're gonna have some, you know, moments where it, you know, it looks unrealistic at times. So I mean, I understand, like all that, but I don't know. I just feel like you know, Stu was the one that killed the, uh, Randy as well, and not only did he kill Randy, but he also killed Dewey. So that's just my theory on that. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that? Stu was in. Do you guys think he was the one that maybe uh, killed Randy? And do you guys think he also? Do you guys think he was in Scream Two? Because there, there's a lot of moments again where you see the killer, you know, teleporting, you know. So and it just doesn't really make as much like it. Just makes you wonder like, was Stu in that film as well? Because again. He was teleporting. You see Ghostface teleporting like left and right in that film, just like in Screen 3 as well. Like, so it's just like, I, I don't know what to believe. I know there was two killers. I know Miss Loomis was one of the killers as well. So, I mean, there was two killers, but then again, who's to say that Randy didn't get killed by Stu? I mean, Literally, I mean, this dude was literally getting manhandled. Like, he was getting ragged on, you know? And I just don't believe that Miss Loomis is going to be able to manhandle him in that way, er, in that manner. Like, because, again, nothing against girls. Girls ain't as strong as boys, in my opinion. I've already said that many times. There's no way that a girl is going to be able to manhandle a man like that. And same with the, like I was saying, the uh, the Dewey death, you know, that the killer was literally like lifting him off his feet. And I just don't believe that. I don't believe that a girl is going to be able to do that to a man. So I definitely think it's possible that, you know, Stu got killed or Stu killed Randy got revenge on him or something. You know, he tried to kill him in, I believe he tried to kill him in 1996. Well, no, he didn't. I think, yeah, I don't think he got, I don't think he got attacked in screen 1996. So I think, you know, Stu killed him and got revenge on him. That's just my theory on that. Um, a lot of people will say, well, no, it was Miss Loomis because she said that. Well, again, just because she said that doesn't necessarily mean that she did. You know what I mean? Like, she could have just been saying that. But I didn't really care for Miss Loomis as a killer Yeah, to begin with. I never cared for her as a killer. Never cared for her. Like, I never cared for her character, you know. Um, kind of. I think she's like one of the worst killers, probably in the franchise by far. I mean, I I wouldn't say she's the worst, but she's definitely not the best. Like she, I, I would say she's probably at least like number four, or number five. And I definitely think that you know Jill is way better than her. But yeah, I, I just don't really. I don't know, guys. And same with the whole like CC death as well. Like, uh, people say that Miss Loomis killed her, but how in the hell? Again, 
I understand it was a girl throwing another girl, which I, I, I could totally see that happening where a girl is able to manhandle another a girl, you know, a woman, you know, manhandle another woman. I mean, I could see that because, again, they're kind of like similar. They don't, they're not like men, like, it's just different, you know, compared to men. Like, men are able to manhandle, do anything, you know. They're able to do stuff that girls can't. So, again, I think that's very possible that she was the one that did that. But at the same time, I think that it could have been also Stu. Um, but let me know in the comments what you guys think about the Stu theory. Do you guys really think that he was the one that... Uh, killed Randy, or do you guys really do think that you know it was Miss Loomis? Because I don't believe that it was Miss Loomis personally. I don't believe it at all. I believe that it was definitely Stu. Because again, it, you know, he was getting tossed around, manhandled, you know, and I just don't believe. Again, I don't believe a girl is going to be able to do that personally, but. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, hit the like button as always. Hit the uh, subscribe button as well. Um, and like I said, just give me your guys' thoughts. Um, but anyways, guys, that's all I got for you in this video. Again, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe button. Um, and see you on the next one.